What's up, Tim Sykes here. Wanted to do a quick video lesson on Twitter. Um, it's currently up like 5%. The news just broke here. Um, Elon Musk is taking them over at $54.20 a share. Um, it was at 3.01 p.m. Eastern. I'm on the other side of the world in Bali. It's a 12-hour time difference, so I'm filming this right now at 3.15 in the morning. Um, I sleep during the day here, or at least some of it, and then I'm up all night. It's a tough schedule, but if you love what you do, you do it. I am also opening up some new schools here. Very excited about that. Um, but leave a comment below. I'm curious to see what you think about this news uh, with Elon Musk and Twitter. Um, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? I'm curious to hear some reactions. For me, I'm excited because Twitter, you know, I like Twitter, but they really haven't innovated in years. <laughs> this is like, if you look at Twitter, I mean, this is on Twitter that I announced this news or Stocks of Trade Breaking News announced it and I reposted it. Um, it's very old school. And, and I think that they kind of lost track of, of what is possible. Um, and Elon Musk is, is really good at unlocking technology and, and pushing the limits. So, you know, Twitter stock is up a little bit. They're going private, uh, for better or worse. I'm sure they will be public in a few years after Elon Musk, um, you know, does his whole little tech, tech revamping. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. You know, Tesla's stock is down a little bit because now obviously Elon will be distracted with his new pretty shiny multi-billion dollar investment. You can see this drop here. Um, as I said in my last video on this topic, I think this is a net positive for Tesla because I think that it adds a lot of short sellers to the stock um, who are going to bet against Elon Musk. You don't bet against the richest man in the world. Bet against penny stock promoters. Bet against losers. You don't bet against like this, this multiple company winner. It's not just one company. Um, so I think that, that Tesla will probably, you know, be, be helped by this, at least, at least Tesla stock eventually. Um, you know, I, I don't know. That's just a, a guess. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what Elon can do with Twitter and SpaceX and Tesla and the boring company. He's got a lot of companies, how they'll all play together. I don't know where it goes, you know, but I know it's going to be interesting. I'll tell you that whether it succeeds, whether it fails, um, you know, he could fail. It's not like the richest man is like definitely going to win at everything. I just personally wouldn't bet against him. Um, I think it's, it's mainly just going to be interesting. And as a, a very um, obsessive user of Twitter, I mean, I tweet multiple times per day. I'm excited to see what he can do. And I think that the platform has great potential. Um, you know, if you just look at what Tesla's stock has done over the past few years, I mean, it's really ramped up because a lot of people underestimated what was possible. And, you know, as Elon Musk likes to uh, talk about how, you know, Tesla sales went up during the Super Bowl because there were multiple electric vehicle companies that did ads. Tesla didn't even do an ad and their sales still rose because everyone knows about them. So I don't know what he's going to do with Twitter, but I can guarantee you that uh, he's going to think outside the box and that's what's needed, you know, especially with these like new platforms and social media where NFTs are now a big part of Twitter. Who knows what, what can happen with NFTs and Tesla and SpaceX um, and the boring company. I, I don't know. I don't know how you might mix, you know, transportation. Maybe like there'll be like a specific like Twitter box on Tesla cars where you can like tweet like, you know, while you're in the car, maybe now it's going to be like a new experience. Maybe there'll be like Twitter games or something. I, I don't know where this goes, um, but I, I like the, the thinking about the possibilities. And, you know, maybe he won't be, you know, too aggressive. Maybe he won't do any like big things like I'm, I'm thinking that he might. But if you've watched a lot of Elon Musk uh, videos lately, like he doesn't care about money. He might be the richest man in the world, but he's just going to use the money to do cool stuff. You know, he created like a, I think it was like a Tesla tequila. Um, and I think they also got a patent on or a trademark on uh, like, I think it was like Tesla burgers or Tesla uh, restaurants. So he's going to start doing something like that. So he's got the whole vision where he's like mixing everything. He's kind of like, you know, Kanye West, where you just, you try different stuff. And he's like on such like another level creatively. Um, and Kanye West has a lot of money too. Um, both of them have, I think some, some, uh, mental issues. And I think that might be good for their entrepreneurial spirit. You know, um, I, I myself am like this, this small time, uh, entrepreneur, uh, with my own mental issues. You know, I, I like to talk about this, 
uh, Uber driver that I had one time. This was a few years ago, but I had a drive from San Diego to LA. I was visiting one of my newest millionaire students, Kyle Williams, shout out to him, over $3 million now after just graduating college. Um, but I was in San Diego visiting Kyle, then I had to go to LA and I was like, ah, I don't wanna fly, I have so many calls to make. So I just took an Uber from you know San Diego to LA, that's a few hour drive, and I did my calls. And towards the end of the drive, the Uber driver, we didn't reach my destination yet, and the Uber driver, it was a, a girl, she looked back at me, or looked at me in like the rear view mirror and she's like, can I just say something? I was like, sure, what do you wanna say? And she's like, can I just say you have a lot of issues? And I was bawling laughing. I was like, can you say that again? I, I like made her say it and I like video recorded it. She was like literally worried about me. Like where, you know, this is before we reached a destination. Like this might affect her tip. Um, this might affect her rating, but she was so concerned for my mental well being that she, felt she had to say that. And I don't even remember what I said. I had like 10 calls. You know, I have like a weird sense of humor. Um, I know I have issues. Elon Musk has issues. Kanye West, like a lot of the best entrepreneurs have issues. Like there's no reason to push yourself that much. And again, I'm not trying to say I'm in their league. They're billionaires or multi-billionaires. I am a lowly millionaire. Um, and I gave a TED talk while I'll never be a billionaire because I'll always donate too much to charity. That's probably one of my issues too. I don't know. I do what I what I like. I say what I think. Um, if an Uber driver thinks I have issues, so be it. If people think like Elon Musk, like there's a lot of love and hate with him. I think it's fantastic. Push yourself. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Don't be afraid to to seem crazy. No idea is off the table. We live in a truly truly fascinating time where you can do anything. There's so much technology. Like me, even making this video lesson in near real time in Bali on the other side of the world in the middle of the night and I'm gonna be able to post it right away. Like people don't realize comparatively, like right now the world that we're living in compared to a few decades or a few centuries ago, it's night and day. So there's no limits to what's possible. If a car maker turned, uh, you know, Twitter owner can do something like you can do anything. And before Tesla, I mean, he did PayPal. Before PayPal, uh, he had some other, you know, companies. Tesla almost failed. PayPal almost failed. Twitter has almost failed. Like this is life. And so many people are so afraid of failing and, and looking bad. I think Elon, Kanye, you know, thousands of other successful people, myself. Um, I think that, that you really have to kind of learn from just trying different stuff and seeing what works and pushing it and not being afraid to fail. But I am curious about your thoughts. Leave a comment below this video. Do you like Elon buying Twitter? Uh, are you worried about Twitter? Are you worried about Elon? Are you worried about Tesla? Let's, let's see what, what everyone thinks and just give me your honest opinion. You know, I'm not looking for like any specific answer. I think it's cool to, to communicate. Uh, for me, I've been following this. I, I haven't traded Tesla or Twitter stock. That's not my pattern, but I do like the idea of these consumer brands, um, pushing the limits with what other people think is possible. There are no limits. Just as I'm always telling my millionaire students, a lot of people thought when I first, you know, turned a few thousand into a few million, they thought that was impossible. Now, 25 millionaires and more coming soon. Um, later, you know, more and more people are starting to see, wow, I can actually do the seemingly impossible. Elon Musk has done the seemingly impossible. He continues to do it. I'm excited to see what he says and what he does. I'm excited to see what you say in the comments below. Share this video, help me get the word out. Let's create a little conversation and let's see what people think. And also, not even what you think, maybe you have no opinion, but what improvements do you think Elon can, can have for Twitter? Because if this video gets shared enough, like I'll send it to Elon. Um, you know, I've, I've talked to people on his team before, not necessarily him, but he reads stuff. Like, you know, like he, he responds on Twitter. So help me make this go viral. Help me get, uh, you know, more uh, views on this so that we can create a conversation. And then let's send some suggestions to Elon. I know that might sound crazy, but anything is possible. Let's use this new technology. Let's push it. Let's create a better Twitter. Let's create a better world. That's my little talk for today. I gotta, you know, go focus on my charity. I've got another school opening in a few hours. Have a good day.